Hi, I'm Bobby Homan with Ferment Museum of Natural History, and you're watching Around Atlanta with Victoria Angel. Welcome to Around Atlanta, Bobby. Thank you for coming to Farm Bank. We're happy to have you today. So tell us, when was Farm Bank established? Well, Ferment Museum of Natural History opened in October of 1992, so we're a fairly new uh, natural history museum in the grand scheme of things. So tell us about the Farm Bank After Dark. So Farm Bank After Dark is our new adults only um, event series. So the second Friday of each month we have live music, the entire museum is open, uh, there's a full bar, there's a tapas menu, and uh, the, the most fun thing that I um, love about the event is that we have science discoveries, hands-on demonstrations and activities throughout the museum for our guests to um, enjoy while they're here. You offer a giant screen theater. Can you tell us about it? Absolutely. Our giant screen theater has um, about seven to eight uh, films each year. These are more um, documentary style films that explore lots of natural history themes. Um, and last year we uh, renovated the theater completely and so we have all new state-of-the-art digital technology that allows us to show both 2D and 3D films. What can one expect to experience in the Fernbank Forest? Well, Farm Bank Forest is sort of the new addition um, for us in terms of our offering. So it's a 65 acre old growth forest right here in the heart of Atlanta. Um, get, there's about two miles of paved pathways that guests can discover and we've got an amazing amount of biodiversity. We have over 150 bird species, um, about uh, over 60 species of native trees. Some of those are actually champion species here in Atlanta. So that means they're some of the largest and the oldest trees in in this region. Can you visit the Fernbank Forest all year round? You can visit the Fernbank Forest all year round. We're only closed two days of the year. There's lots to see um, depending on the season when we have migratory birds coming through. We offer a lot of themed walks um, uh, on the weekends as well as during the summer on the weekdays. So there's a lot of opportunities to engage with some of Fernbank's educators if you spend some time in Fernbank Forest. You also have a cafe. Tell us about it. We do. If you're hungry at Fernbank, we have a couple of things that we can offer you. Um, our cafe is open from 11 o'clock to 3 o'clock. We serve a wide variety of dishes. Some are more fun, like pizza and nachos and pretzels. We also have uh, salads. Uh, kids' meals are always really popular with our families. Can you tell us about your global kitchen? So Farming's newest special exhibit is called Food, Our Global Kitchen, and it takes our visitors on a journey around the globe and through time to explore the cultural and natural history of food. So guests have an opportunity to walk through an ancient Aztec marketplace, explore some famous dining rooms of people like Kubla Khan and Jane Austen, and also explore where food comes from, which is um, something I think a, a lot of folks uh, think food comes from the grocery store and don't know a lot about how we got from our wild ancestors to things we see in the grocery store today. So it's a very broad um, exploration of food. Tell us about the Giants of Mesozoic. So Giants of Mesozoic is um, kind of our signature exhibit here in our Great Hall and it features a predator prey um, scene with Argentinosaurus and Giganotosaurus, one of which you can see behind me right now. There's also a number of other species flying around in the ceiling, Pterodostra um, and Anangera. So if you, you look up towards our wonderful ceiling. So uh, these dinosaurs came from Argentina, the Patagonia area, and they date to the Cretaceous period, so about 145 to 65 million years ago. Where can we find you on the web? So you can find us at fermentmuseum.org and you can also find us at Fermate Museum on Facebook and Instagram. So tell us, Bobby, what do you like about Atlanta? So I love Atlanta for a number of reasons. One of them is I come from a small town in, in Texas and so there's just so much to do here in Atlanta and you don't have to go very far to find it. Although Atlanta is a big city, so I think everybody's big complaint is always traffic. Thank you so much for sharing with Around Atlanta. Oh, thank you so much for being at Fernbank today.